Maybe a 5 1 victory against Pickering Town in today's pre season friendly. What did you make of the match? Um, I thought we were totally dominant, weren't we? I mean, the stats don't lie. I think in the first half we had nine corners, 12 shots on target, second half, 10 shots. I didn't count the corners, you know. We were totally dominant, mate. Not only in um, corners and chances created and scored five goals, but the way that we kept the ball and knocked it around and when we didn't have it, got into a nice shape, you know. And necessity made us play three at the back today. And, you know, that might happen in the season. So it was good. It was a good test for those three. And even in the second half when they realised, you know, that we were only playing three at the back and they started knocking the balls wide, we dealt with it. And we, I think we, we performed well, mate. I, I do. I honestly thought we performed very well and we dominated the game. Just on the three at the back, was that purely down to uh, personnel? And uh, how do you think the team did play in that formation? I think it was definitely down to personnel. I mean, we, you know, we, we're... Uh, Cameron's missing. Um, Finn's missing. Broads is missing. So... Three of that, you know, if we'd have had one of those wide players, we'd have probably gone with our four-two-three-one. But we, we, me and Andy had a big chat. We talked about four-four-two diamond. We talked about all sorts of different formations, um, and we we were concerned about getting no width or getting done in the width. So actually, we thought three-five-two. Um, let's see how it goes. And I thought the boys did really well. And pleasingly, Stocky and Ali took on board what we'd said about, you know, when the ball's almost like, just stay out, stay out, get out of the way and stay out of the way and, and we'll switch play. And I thought, I thought we did really well, mate. I've got to be honest. The alternative formation, it allowed us to play uh, two up front. Do you see us in the season having a sort of strike partnership or do you think we will be playing solely with one strike? Do you know what? It's, it's something me and Andy have seriously got to look at now because it, it, it was evident in the first half that that relationship between Andy and Denny, both playing up there, and the little back heels and the goals that were scored, you know, was key. And I think we, we've we got to look at now, do we play one up front as, a, you know, holding it and we feed off him or do we get two up there? And so, we, you know, we've been talking about it all second off, you know, uh, well, when Andy came off and we're discussing two up front has done us, done us proud. We've got to look at it. You know, that's what we've got to look at. And you may see a completely different formation again on Saturday, which allows us to have two up front, but maintain that security of having four at the back. No. One player particularly that stood out to us was uh, Matty Dixon in the midfield. He oh. got at least uh, two assists, possibly three. How do you think he did that? Matty Dixon was incredible, mate. Ma Matty Dixon was absolutely incredible. You know, I've just been laughing and joking with him down there, saying he goes on holiday tomorrow. Was that shedding pounds, you know, to get into his swimmers? You know, that was an absolutely incredible performance. But I remember Matty when he came from Hull on loan to York when I was at York, and he was a midfielder then. And his engine and his work rate and his, his football and intelligence is why he's a midfielder. You know, yes, we've used him as right back, but unless we are absolutely desperate, he'll be playing midfield. You yeah, know? that's going to be the next question. So he's going to be playing yeah, midfield yeah. in this season. That's what yeah, you're seeing. This yeah, season, so. but, that, but that's where I first saw him. That's what, yeah. You know, it's just out of necessity. Last season, you know, he played right back. But actually, to me, Matty Dixon's a midfield player. You know, him, Pete, Tom, Max, Eddie... You know, they've all shone as midfield players. They really, really have absolutely shone this, this pre-season. And, you know what, great because it gives me a difficult choice. Unlike last season where we, the team's picking itself, this year I'm going to have to sit down with Andy and say, you know, this is the team we're playing. Who do we, who, who's our starting eleven? So it's been good. Well, you mentioned in the last interview, I think it was, that you knew your best eleven. With the changing formation today, do you think that might possibly change? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I, I can't wait to, to watch the game back. You know, I mean, we, I'm buzzing because we've done well. I still want us to cut out some of that sloppiness. You know, at times the pass is getting under hit. Sometimes we're playing square, uh, straight balls, you know, from trying to hit uh, defenders to strikers on a, and it's getting cut out. It's bouncing off the striker. It's getting cut out. You know, there's things that we need to look at. But, yeah... I'd like to say I know my starting eleven in a four-two-three-one, but if we're not playing four-two-three-one, yeah, I've got to have a think again. On yeah. to our final preseason friendly on Saturday against uh, Great Driffield. I assume we're wanting more of the same. Yeah, we, we, we've got we, we you know all done for a reason. We did the Scarborough game, we did the workshop. I bang on about it. We did the All City game. Now we're getting into the you know we played Maltby and Pickering, two teams in the Northern Counties Premier. Who uh, you know, it's only one league below us. We've now got to play Driffield and, and get as much of the much of the same. Bounce the ball around, knock the ball around, be comfortable on the ball and generate chances and go score goals. 
you said you picked the games, sort of the order in which you played the games on purpose. Do you think you've ultimately got what you wanted then out of this pre-season? Up to now, I have. I mean, Driffield is a last-minute game. You know, that's there's no disrespect to Driffield. It's a last-minute game. You know, and we wanted a game. They need a game. We'll play. You know, but we've done this in in, in a particular order. You know, if if pre-season finished today and we were playing on Saturday, I'd be thinking, you know, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way we're performing. I'm happy with the team. And I, and I said it in my program notes. You know, get behind what me and Andy are trying to do because you know that's the sort of football we want to be playing this year. Aidy, well done today. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.